Boop. Aliens can't be louder than me. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Lord Cabbagehead. You might remember me from... Oh, God. It's been, really been months. Oh, I'm testing. One, two, three. Okay, yeah. So, I am Lord Cabbagehead. I'm sorry I don't sound particularly excited lately. It's been... Whew, it's been a while since I recorded a video. Let's just... We're going to leave at that. Anyways, this the game is a little game called Disturbed. I know nothing about it except that it was a free horror game on Steam, so either it would be good or hilarious. The last horror game I tried to play on Steam, um, I want to talk about it. it was I downloaded a game called Mannequin from Game Joke that sounded cool, but apparently my computer's not as good as I thought it was. Anyways, let's get into this. What's the worst that can happen? It looks like a choose your own adventure story, so I think one of those are forever. No, the old day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt and your cow is sick. Well, that sucks. For some time, the land has been very quiet. I wouldn't want my land talking. That would be a little worrisome. Hey, sup, land? I'm um, land. I see that. You don't mow me enough. Oh, now you're nagging me. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to ask him to be quiet. It was scaring me that the earth talked to it has gone thick and foul. Each passing day, you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. That's it. I got it. Air fresheners. Problem solved. No more fat lab. Smell. Smell only scenty pine. I don't know what scenty pine is, but that's what it smells like. Perhaps it is up to you. Perhaps so. Perhaps I should get off my lazy ass and start working on my farm. Perhaps not. Perhaps I should try to sell the land. Maybe I should light it all on fire and collect the insurance money. You made up your mind. Did I? I just talked about burning down the farm. Did I just make up my mind? Are we doing this? Are we doing arson? Let's do it. Yes, I am going to do something about it. Apparently, I'm going to burn down my farm. We stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do next. Go to the crops, go to the house, go to the shed. Let's see what's in the shed. You attempt to open the shed door, but the door won't budge. You remember locking it some time ago, but you can't remember what you did with the key. Okay, yeah, that's classic, mate. Oh! I put this thing here. It's like, this is important. Where the fuck did I put the thing for the thing? It's, it's every day. Go to the crops. A path divides the crops you have labored so hard to prosper these past months. A penetrating odor remain, reminds you that your plants are decaying away and time is running short. Okay, I'm a shitty farmer. My crops are decaying and I'm just going, I guess I'm going to rot. I didn't grab them when they were ripe, or if I did, what, is the soil cursed? Do I have... Is the frickin' nearest cut factory putting pollution on my lawn? I sue their asses. Follow the path. Go to the pin. Go to... Let's go to the pin. P-E-N, not P-I-N. Toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pin. Your poor cow lays lifeless on the ground as a growing blight slowly begins to consume her body. You feel sick to your stomach as you stand here, especially as you stare at the blank, the black mushrooms that dot the ground. What, what, what kind of farmer am I? That my cow is laying here, <laughs> decaying, covered in mushrooms. What did I do? How did my cow die? Did I just not feed it? Oh, you're just supposed to feed cows! I must be the dumbest farmer ever. Or maybe the cow just got really tired and took a nap forever. Did my parents not give me the talk about death? Were they like, oh, no, they just go to sleep forever. I'm like, oh, Bessie's sleeping. I can't wait till she wakes up. I feel like animal control, or I could call a buddy to help me move a decaying cow. I mean, that's going to attract freaking sav sav scavengers who will eat the cow. Blah, 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 blah. And then, that's it. No more cow for me. But no, no, Bessie's sleeping. Bessie's sleeping, kids. Shh, don't wake Bessie. Grab a mushroom. I don't know why I'll be touching things. I don't know what they do. Let's inspect the water. Make sure I watered my freaking cow. You inspect the water. Looks looking for any damn normal. You notice that the water has a dark consistency to it. Dropping a stone in it, black particles from the bottom swirl about like a thunderstorm. Your face shrivels in, this, shrivels in disgust. Do I not change my cow's watering thing? 
how did this happen? Am I like, I only put that water out two months ago. I don't understand why it's so screwed up. I mean, it's just standing water. No wonder my cow died. Grab a mushroom. You know Dan, grab a mushroom. As you begin to rip it out of the ground, a cloud of spores spray from the mushroom, your hands begin to burn and melt as you observe them. So your body shrivels up into a dark, moist consistency as poison spread. You die, eventually, after crawling about on the ground. The adventure ends here. See? I knew it! I should not have touched something. I did not know what it was. Back out to the menu. Flawless. Blah, 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 blah. Is that a skip button? Yes, there is. Great game. Apparently, I can't skip. Do not skip. Go to the crops. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's follow the path. You came down the trail for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in there. I'm gonna nope out of that right now and not trust the mysterious cave. Come to stop at a, as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Now let's inspect the right wagon. Look about the mess and find bits of food and clothes scattering about the scene. Huh! I missed the party! Damn it! That was the party wagon! It came through here, I completely missed it. I'm disappointed. There's a key on the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. You know, just a key. After what felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby the path is a small shack similar to the house you have on your farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow from what you recall. Maybe he is his home. Inspect the shack. You walk towards the structure and knock on the door. You scratch the back of your head, figuring that the person that lives here is currently occupied, if not elsewhere. Remember to pick up a key from the wagon and you use it just on the door. The door unlocks. You decide to help yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like he's here. I guess my first start is home invasion. Yeah, anarchy, 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 anarchy. Okay. So in the empty room, you realize something terrible must have taken place. Let's call the cops. The room is a wreck, just like the wagon. You're overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. Where is the call the cops button? Trap door, books on the table, no, no call cops. Because why would I call the cops in a horror game? <laughs> that would be stupid. I mean, how could they have? They'd just get eaten. Pick up the books and start to flip through the pages. Describe that this is a journal, reading a passage or two can't hurt. Today's tra trading went smoothly. Thank goodness that I'm a thr I am thrilled most, of, most about, however, is the, what I am thrilled most about, however, blah, 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 I cannot read. I should go back to school. I'm just a simple farmer. I don't know how to read or call cops. I just go into people's houses. That's not illegal. However, the thing, what I am thrilled most about, however, is what one of my buddies, okay, I'm going to stop doing that, mentioned to me at the conclusion of our day. Apparently, there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region. With a good catch, I can make enough to move things forward. I was caught off guard when he mentioned that nobody has been able to catch any from them from there. I guess your typical fishing one won't do a trick. What can and be done about it then? Something to be intrigued about, I suppose. I don't know anyone who says that. Something to be curious about, something to wonder about. I don't know many people say intrigued about. What time period does this take place in? Maybe I can't call the cops. Maybe my guy's not stupid. This cat a couple blah, blah, blah. These past couple weeks have been really rough for me. My trading business has gone under and I have lost nearly everything I own. That's pushed me to extremes, but that can't be helped now. I'm leaving this place forever. Never to return. The land is dying and there is nothing but darkness here. Anyone reading this should leave while they can. Can't find a name to give this man, but regardless of the name, you got chills down your spine. Apparently, I knew him. Fuck it, let's go die. YOLO. Without thinking, I traveled out. Yeah, I didn't think. Walking down the. Oh, hold on. Let me save this in case I die here. Quick save complete. 
And that's regular save. Walking down the steps leading below, the air attacks your body with a pe with a piercing cold. I mean, as a sailor, I mean, I shouldn't jump to conclusion, but I'm looking at a dead body right there. Maybe she's alive. Maybe he feeds a human. Maybe I should leave quickly. Maybe my mind is a little too morbid. You notice immediately that there is a woman chained to the wall. That seems to you as you study her. You feel darkness around you as you stay in this awful place. Luckily, I saved. Because if I die here, I'm going to have to reload. Talk to the woman. You turn by as you try to form words in your mouth. Yeah, they know I've been stuttering. Yeah, I can't blame them. You the hell let me out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In case she is a man-eating monster like I suspect. The press of sis and the man makes you freeze. Take a moment to think about the situation before you spawn. You, are you locked up? What got you locked up to begin with? You'd never believe me even if I told you the truth. I don't know. I just got killed by mushrooms. And then came down here. And I'm already suspecting you're a cannibal. So, there's not much I wouldn't believe. Something brought me you here. Please have mercy on me. I'm probably going to die since it's giving me multiple attempts to walk away. You post the woman and unlock the shackles that bind her. Please don't eat me! I saw every crumb free, see moans and pain. Please don't eat me. Oh, thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand up. Don't eat me. On her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. Don't eat me. I will now do you a favor. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was talking about not eating me. Now it's going to get sexy. Um... There's a lot of porn that begins this way. Normally anime porn, but no, hentai, whatever. Normally that, but I mean, I guess you're pretty for a drawn woman. I think drawing style is very well, well done, but off subject. I don't know if I want your favor or not. There seems to be a face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. I fucking knew it. You're evil. You feel the chilling grip of bone hand lock onto your arm. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It's unfortunate that your journey ends here. Yep. I knew it. I knew. I knew she was going to be evil. Leave the shack. I'm outie. Leave the shack and cross the bridge before something bad happens. You cross the safely and continue down the trail. After all that has happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. You find a spot under a tree and sit down. I'm getting comfortable. You tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. Well, after dying twice... Oh. I guess I gotta do this. Okay, I was about to get off, but... Guess I'm gonna pick up grass for a while. Alright. It's pick up the grass blade and you reach. The ground begins to shake. Before you can get up, roots from below sprout from the ground and wrap around you like, I knew it! I fucking knew that the ground was talking to me. That's why I didn't care that it was quiet. I told you, ground, don't start talking to me. You turn around and see a large angry face looking back at you. You're a beautiful tree. Your jaw drops in horror. No sound or scream escapes your tongue as a tightening grip of roots squeeze what air is left out from your body. The adventures in here. I have died three times. I think I would call this an episode. So, well, look at the very angry tree. Excuse me, after I burp. I believe it is time for me to get off. I am sorry that I have been so long since I've, I've posted a video trying to get back into the habit. I want to start to try to do it every couple of days. Next week, you know, I won't be able to do it because I'll be out of town visiting my nephew, which I'm really looking forward to. And my niece, too. My niece and nephew, death. I almost forgot Porcelina. Anyways, this has been Lord Cabbagehead, dying repeatedly. I will see you in the next video, which I swear will actually be loaded up after a while. And I might continue this series. This is kind of fun. So... Yeah, look forward to more death for me, and I will see you next time. Bye!